Hello and welcome back to the channel where I got another toy. Ooh, kaboo! This one kind of heavy. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this is a uh, Holtzforma G395XP that I just picked up a couple days ago. Saw it on Marketplace. And, uh, you know, I've been uh, wanting to meet more people in my local area. You know, so that I can have a good friend base. Well, um, I saw this, and the guy was asking 300 bucks for it. And that was a good deal. And I was considering it, right? I was considering it. Um, but uh, I actually reached out and was like, you know, because who has one of these? You know, not many people would order something like this. That's cool. Um, unless they were really into chainsaws or doing them professionally or whatever. And so I, I, you know, and even the, even professionally, a lot of times they won't buy stuff like this. This is hobbyist type stuff. Um, a lot of times. And so I reached out to him and I was like, Hey, do you like chainsaws or is this just a one-off deal that you got and you're selling it? And he's like, uh, his reply was awesome. I think he said something along the lines of, I think the best toy a man can have is a chainsaw. So, anyways, um, so we had, were planning on meeting and, you know, hanging out a little bit. The guy's name's PJ. And I saw that he actually dropped the price down on this to 250 because I guess he wasn't getting any attention for it. And I thought, my gosh, if that thing runs, if it fires up and runs, that's a good deal. And so I was like, I told him, I was like, I'll take it, you know? And um, so he showed up and I got this thing for 250. He said it's only had about two tanks ran through it. And I believe him, it looks pristine. It looks like it's had one or two tanks ran through it and hasn't been cleaned up. You know what I mean? That, that's, that's what it looks like. <laughs> and uh, there we go, that's a good one. So he's got this little dinky 20 inch bar on there. And this, uh, this is a county line. This is a, a brand that you can buy at Tractor Supply. And so I'm not going to just simply tighten it up because um, it says it's 70 drive links. And if it's 70 drive links, that's a Poland size. That is Poland and, and Echo do 70 drive links. So I'm going to make sure this is the right bar mount, and it is not. Now, you can make it work. He did. Yeah, you can see where he ground it out to make it fit over those uh, the bigger studs. Yeah. But, you know, that's not... I'm not jiving with that, so I'm going to go ahead and put a proper bar on it. And uh, so, that, so that we're sure it's getting oil and everything. Yeah, it, he got it on there good. It's nice and tight. And it would probably oil just fine. But, you know, me being me, I'm like, nah, nah, I'm not doing that. I've got, a, I've got the right bar here, easily available, and so I'm going to use it. But, hey, I got a, a good Echo or Poland bar. I don't know. Actually, because it's ground out, it may not work so well. But uh, regardless, let's grab a proper bar setup for this and uh, give her a go. Okay, here we go. We back. This is a 28 inch Husqvarna lightweight bar. They call it the X-Tough Light. It's not made by Husqvarna at all. It is a Sugihara bar. Fine by me that they have somebody else make the bars. 
I will say though, that steel light bar is really light. If you're looking for a, a lightweight bar, it's really light. <laughs> I'm such a funny guy, you know? All right, where's... Oh, here it is. So, um, experience on these Holtz Formas is uh, almost nothing. I have ran a couple of other people's, and it was just up there at Sawfest. But experience with clone saws in general, man, they're getting so good at it. They really are. They're really getting good at it. <laughs> Except for my 372 clone. Ooh, ooh. But that thing will be awesome. So what am I going to do with this saw? I don't know. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this saw exactly. But it seems though, as though the way that uh, Sawfest is going, it seems like they're going to be going through all of the clones. And so like next year, the clone is going to be the 372 clone. Maybe the year after that is going to be the 395 clone. I don't know. But I think I'm going to hold on to it for that purpose. Also, um, I don't want to port and polish my uh, 592. The gains that I would get from that, I think, are going to be minuscule. And so it wouldn't be a very fun thing to do, you know? Uh, plus, I also do not want to make that thing fly with a 20-inch bar on it, let's say. I need the torque that it has. And it's got considerable torque. It really does. It's a nice saw. What I'd much rather do is for the 94cc class, um, just build this thing. I think I'll probably do that. I think I'll probably just build this thing for the 94cc class, and then I got it. Regardless of what they plan on doing for uh, Clone Wars or, or not doing for Clone Wars, you know, I, I don't really care. But, you know, just run this as the 94cc class saw. Now, I definitely have heard all about the piston slap that these things have from the factory. Because the piston is just literally uh, too small. There's something about the taper. I mean, I know what it's talking about. The piston's supposed to have a taper to it. But... Um, I don't know anything more than that to describe it to you guys. But, uh, you know, so maybe I'll throw a Duke's piston in there, port it up, make a good little runner out of it, and I'll use it for racing. I don't know. But, like, it does throw, not this, but, you know, Sawfest and the Clone Wars type stuff does throw, like, a... It, a wrench in my spokes because I was planning on giving that 372 away for Christmas. And then I was like, well, I hear that next year's, next year's clone saw is going to be the 372 clone. And so I've already got one, you know? So uh, I need to figure out something else to give away for Christmas giveaway. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to give away my uh, Husqvarna 55. Which, regardless of, you know, uh, I, I, I wasn't able to get good results from porting it, but I've got a new cylinder to put on there, and we can do something with that. And it's a good running saw, even if it's not faster than stock. I mean, it's a really good running saw. It's solid. It's, like, extremely low hours. It's a nice 55. So I think I'm going to give that away for Christmas. Um, and there you have it. All right. 
let's uh, fire it up and get it in some wood. I know I've fired it up once already. I'll have to tune it up a little bit, but uh, that's it. And I'll do that off camera. And uh, we'll see you out there. Let's just throw it in the wood. Um, I'm going to grab a different screwdriver because I can't get it to tune quite right and that's bugging me. Um, so I'll be right back. Okay, I, uh, I think I got it now. You all hear that? She was making noise like a like an old percolator, coffee maker. <laughs> um yeah, she cuts. Uh you know, the kill switch definitely not working. Um it wasn't really finicky to get dialed in. It's just whenever I was trying to adjust it on the high side, I was actually on the low side. You know, they're, they're, they're really angled back. Uh, so I just wasn't on the right screws. But yeah, I was able to dial it in and then I thought I was a little bit too lean. So I gave it a little bit more fuel and started pulling better. That's a 28 inch bar on there. This is a good solid red oak. You know me. I'm cutting red oak. Um, yeah, I like it. I mean, you know, that that would be, I, I think that's going to be ideal for running for actually racing, you know, and that's really all it's for. Any big work, I'll use my 592 for, but uh, this one right here, I can port it up where I don't need so much torque. I need more RPMs, you know and see how it goes. But very cool, and man, can't beat that deal. That's a, that's a stellar deal. Well, I'm gonna turn the, light, the on off switch on, but I don't think I need to. Let's see if I can one hand it. 
Well, it'd be nice. So maybe whenever I'm hitting that uh, choke to kill it, I'm flooding it just a just a touch. We won't know until I fix that uh, on-off switch. I may have it a little bit too lean on the low side. Whatever, we work that out later. As it is, cool. I'm having fun. And uh, once again, whoo, that bar is hot as the dickens. So I didn't even check and see if this thing has bar oil. And it's got some. Anyways, that's enough. Don't know what I'll do with it, or I do know what I'll do with it. But I don't know how long it'll last, that stuff like that. I can't say nothing to that. But it, for 250 bucks, it is well worth the price, I think. Yeah, all right.